Hello everyone and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I am your host Eli McKegg and today I'm going to be doing the movie review for Civil War. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Right. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? Civil War is the latest A24 film, and Civil War really, though it seems like it is going to be having a quite a bit of political messaging, it doesn't really have that much in it because the real focus point is a group of war journalists trying to get the story and mainly get the sort of first interview with the President of the United States. So they start all the way in New York and are trying to drive all the way to Washington DC so they can interview the president and this sort of in the landscape that they're in in the film not really a lot of journalists have been able to get a interview with the president in fact it is very known throughout all the journalists that the president doesn't give interviews and a majority of the journalists that go to try to interview the president really don't make it back at all and so they're trying to be the first people to interview the president and get his photo photograph in. And yeah, that's sort of the world that we're living in with civil war. And I have to say, though that may be some political messaging there, like sort of where the world is at the time in terms of politics, and there's a scene like in the middle of the film, near the end, but like not all the way in the end, that could be seen as a political message. I will say that the film, if you're expecting it to have a massive political message, it is very much you trying to look for it. Because when I was watching the film, I was not seeing any political messaging at all. It was very much just, we're gonna be following these four journalists tr going from New York to Washington DC and seeing how they do their job and sort of what how jaded some of them are, how optimistic some of them are, like just seeing how these personalities of journalists are going through living in this world that the United States is in another civil war. It's sort of like, imagine we would follow journalists if we were to put them in a Middle Eastern country as a war is happening and it's just them, we're following the journalists as they are covering that war that is happening in the Middle East. It's very much that type of story. However, instead of being in the Middle East, you're in the United States and the Civil War is happening. And that's sort of the story that we're going with where we're just focusing on the journalists. And I have to say, I do think that the film did a really good job and a really great job following the journalists, making each of the four main characters that we're following feel unique to each other. They all have different experiences. Some are seasoned that have been doing the journalism job and been in the journalism game for years. And one of them is very much just an intern, just getting started out becoming a photojournalist. And I think Alex Garland, the director, did a really great job on focusing on the characters and not trying to do too much of a message. There are messages in there like how the job of journalism can make journalists sort of jaded as time goes on. If you've been in the journalism game long enough, like as time goes on, stuff like war and mass murders and stuff like that can really keep you can really jade you and make you just, no, I just gotta follow the story and I just gotta do my job. And sure, this is a horrible thing, but I just gotta cover the job. I have to cover the story. And that's sort of what Alex Garland is focusing on because the main character, sort of the lead character in it is Kirsten Dunst. And she very much plays the photojournalist that has been in different war-torn countries. She's a fantastic war journal photojournalist. And you can sort of see how when she's covering the Civil War, how she doesn't really look at it as sort of sympathetic, for lack of a better term. She's very much looking at it as, oh, this is my job. I have to cover this story. I'm going to look for the best shot. And 
you can see how she is sort of cut off from the rest of the world and cut off from her emotions compared to the intern character who is very much just starting out, still a little hesitant, still doesn't really know what the best shot is, still very much caught up in her emotions during this sort of thing. And you can sort of see the separation of Kirsten Dunn's character trying to be a mentor figure to this young upstart photojournalist. However, it's still the separation of how they are reacting towards all of this. And I think Kirsten Dunst does a really great job playing this character because you can see that she is able to cut herself off from her emotions and that's sort of a really hard thing to do because actors have to be connected to those emotions and be connected to their emotions. However, you can just see that Kirsten Dunst was very much, did a really great job at separating her emotions from the job that her character is supposed to do, and I think Harrison Dunst did a really great job in the film. I also think that Wagner Mora, who is sort of the the journalist that is going to be writing everything, sort of, if Harrison Dunst is the photojournalist, he is very much, Wagner Mora is very much the writing journalist, and you can see that he's still connected to his emotions, and he's the one that very much brings the intern along on this journey, and you can tell that he's trying to bring more of the optimistic side of things to this to this story and very much to life how he is more connected to his emotions how he is the one that's trying to very much be like hey let's try to look at things in a positive way like i want to still do the story but let's look at things positively let's not go straight to negative and let's not try to separate ourselves we are reporters that are trying to tell this story trying to get the emotions out to the world and that's very much what he is able to do. And I think Wagner Moore does a really great job playing this writer that is trying to bring the emotions into the story. And the other actress I want to mention is Kaylee Spaney, who plays the intern character, who is still, again, she does a really great job of when we're starting out her journey, she's very bright eyed. She doesn't really understand the tragedies of war yet. And then as the movie is progressing, we start seeing how the events that she's going on is really tearing her down and taking away all the innocence that she sort of had. And I think Kaylee Spaney did a really great job progressing through the being innocent to the death of innocence and just focusing on getting the right shot. And there's a nice moment near the end of the film and it was something that I just noticed subtly. And it's, there is a moment where her character, Kaylee Spaney's character, is looking at things normally and looking at everything through, like even the way the camera shot, the lighting and some of the things look normal. But then after a certain scene, if you look very closely at some of the lighting, you can see sort of something that looks like it's disconnecting her. It's sort of like a rainbow f not fully rainbow, but like the lighting has a different tint and a different texture to it, to where it's sort of showing, yeah, her innocence is fully gone now. And we're sort of seeing her now separating from her emotions. And just visual storytelling like that is really what was great in that scene, just being able to tell, oh, there's a shift now in her character. And I think visually, Alex Garland did a really great job with that, and I think Kaylee Spaney also did a great job with the way she presented that type of that type of switch. And I really do think this is a really great film for people who are journalists. Like, if you're a journalist or a reporter and you watch this film, you could probably relate to a lot of the stuff that is happening because, again, it's very much focusing on, hey, this is... The story that I have to cover, I cannot be connected to my emotions when I'm covering the story. I have to very much separate myself from the emotions of the story. However, I still have to tell the stories or tell the emotions within the story without getting wrapped up into it. And I think that that this film does a really great job focusing on the reporter side of things, very much staying neutral 
to the actual messaging. Like we get some backstory on sort of how some of the events of the film happened, but we never go into, oh, we're the main characters are on this side of the spectrum or the main characters are on this side of the spectrum. They're never picking any sides in this event. It's just, we're reporters and we are covering this story and that is all that we are doing. And I think that having the story be told from that perspective really did enhance the film and not bog it down by something that could be looked at as too much political message messaging. And I really did enjoy this film. I very much recommend it for people that may be interested in seeing a story from a reporter side of thing, a journalist side of things. And I think for reporters and journalists, I think this would be a film that you all, if you're watching this, very much would enjoy. So overall, I give this film a four out of five stars, an eight out of 10. Next week, I'm gonna be putting up a pose, that way you can choose which of these two different genre films I'm gonna be watching. So you can choose between the horror film Abigail or the action film Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. But until then, I've been Eli McKegg with WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News, and I hope you all remember to watch movies.